hopefully I can read all this. Hello and welcome back to the channel. How are we today? Happy New Year. I never usually do January TBRs, but here we are today doing a January TBR. My aim is to read all these five books this month, but I definitely will go over it because I set my Goodreads goal very high. I set it to 100 books. I've read one book already, so I'm really proud of that. So we're gonna show you what I want to read this month. I don't start college back again until the end of the month, so I have a bit of time. I'm gonna be working, but like, nevertheless, I'll still have a bit of time to read. Um, so the first book I want to read and the book I'm currently reading is Powerless by Elsie Silver. This is in a five book series. It's the Chestnut Spring series. It's like a really small town romance. Cowboys, farmers, like everything you think, like in a small town, it's in the series. This is the third book. I just finished the second one yesterday. Absolutely loved it. I think it's called Heartless, but it was just so amazing. The chemistry was amazing. And I'm only on page 54 on this book, so I've just started it. This is definitely like a friends to lovers book. They've known each other since childhood. They've been pining over each other for so many years. We don't really get to see the pining though in this book. We just get to see like their breaking point of where they actually want to do something about it. The little description of it is two childhood best friends, two broken hearts, one impromptu road trip to get away from everything. Okay, I didn't know they did that. So the girl, Sloane, is getting married. Like it literally starts off with her being engaged and him not being happy about it because obviously he likes her. Um, but yes, I'm excited to read more of this book. It's about 450 pages. So I think I'll, I'll definitely get it done in the next few days. And then the next book after that, who's surprised? It's gonna be this one. It's the next book in the series, it's called Reckless. And this one I've heard so many good things about. So the first two books are about the brothers. A third one, that one, is about their friend, but also a brother. And this one's also about a friend because he was featured in the first book in the series. And then the fifth one is the next brother, which is such a good marketing technique by Elsie Silver. Because if we had all the brothers, like in the first few books, we wouldn't want to read the rest. She's a smart woman. She knows what she's doing. But this one, I don't really want to read the back of it because I don't want to be spoiled at all. But just think, small town romance. I think this book has like a secret baby popping out. I'm not really too sure, but um, I'm really excited to read more of this series. I wasn't really eager to read these books because they were so popular on Book Talk. I don't want to read like popular, popular books on Book Talk, even though, ugh, goddamn, the next book is like the most popular fantasy book on Book Talk right now. I'm pleasantly really surprised about these ones. Like they're good romance books. I like them. Highly recommend. The next book I want to read, I got this yesterday or a day before. It is The Comeback by Lily Shu. This was definitely more of a cover buy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know anything about it. Okay, it's about a laser focused lawyer climbing the corporate ladder. Okay, I can relate. I do law. You know, I'm feeling good. Perfect daughter living her father's dreams. Can't relate to that. Shocking love interest of South Korea's hottest star. Also, unfortunately, cannot relate to that. It just kind of looks like a fun romance book to read and I haven't really seen this around the place. Next one then is Mariana Zapata, All Roads Lead Here. I am absolutely ecstatic to read this book. I've read so many of Mariana Zapata's books because they're so good. I love a good slow burn. I love when the characters don't even like hold hands or kiss until like page 500. I love it. This book was released in 2021. So I think it's one of her newer releases. I really want to read um, this book too. When Gracie met Grump, because that one looks fun. Okay, so the main character, Aurora, knows moving back to a place that was once her home isn't going to be easy. Starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be, but a, but a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart. Checking out her landlord across the driveway just might cure it too. Okay, another small town romance. I'm here for it. But it's floppy. I'm just, I'm gassed. The only book I haven't loved from Mariana Zapata was one of her first ones that she's ever released because the writing and the characters weren't... They weren't like totally fleshed out, but ever since that one, I've loved every single one of her books. They're just so good, they're so gripping, and the characters are so likeable. Absolutely love it, cannot wait to read this book. The next one then, and the final book is Fourth Wing. I've been meaning to read this book ever since I got it, and I've just been putting it off because I don't really want to go into a new fantasy world where I'll have to learn about everything. Sometimes I just want to read the most basic thing ever, but also not basic, like I want good writing, good characters but not having to learn new world. The cover for this is stunning. I have the second book too, Iron Flame. If I read this book this month, I will get to that too, but I've serious doubts to be honest. Welcome to the brutal and elite world of Basquiat War College. The main character, Viola, she joins the Dragon Riders instead of joining like the, the what's it called? The, the scribe people. She joins these guys and I think it's just loads of action. There's, I think it's enemies to lovers too. I'm excited to read this, but I just, don't feel like picking it up anytime soon, but I do want to because I know I like it. Well, hopefully I like it. You know what I mean? There's such there's such high 
hype for this book that I hopefully I would like this book. I think I will though. But yes, dudes, these are the books I want to read this month. Hopefully I'm gonna have like a really good like five star, four star reading month. Um, I just wanna give books good stars and, hope, and I just wanna read good books. I wanna read about good characters, good plots. I wanna read some good, good tasty books. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.